Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. In my last video, I made three common, long-lasting Korean side dishes. So, today I will show you how to prepare a five-side dish Korean meal that includes those three side dishes. We call it Ochapansang in Korea. This meal includes cooked rice, soup, stew, five side dishes, two kinds of kimchi, and two kinds of sauces. Let's start by making the bean sprout side dish called Kongnamul Muchim in Korean. Get one pack of soybean sprout. Remove any bad parts and wash them good. Put the bean sprout in a pot and pour some water in it until the water covers the bean sprout. Cook them covered on high. Once the water starts to boil, reduce the heat to medium high and cook them for about 15 minutes. At the same time, I will boil some water to cook the cellophane noodles for the bulgogi stew. Meanwhile, let's prepare some vegetables for the other dishes. First, I will cut 1.5 cups of potatoes into big bite-sized pieces. Cut half cup of an onion into half inch pieces. Then, cut two green onions into one inch pieces and one red hot pepper into half inch pieces. Next, slice two small onions into quarter inch slices. You will get about 12 pieces. Then at last, remove the bottom part of the enoki mushroom and set it aside. Add 1 oz of cellophane noodles in the boiling water and cook for about 5 minutes on medium high. When it's done cooking, drain out the water and set the noodles aside. Now all of the chopping is done, so let's start making some broth for the spicy potato soup. Pour 4 cups of water in a pot. Then put 4 large dried anchovies and 4 pieces of kelp into the pot. By now, the bean sprouts will be done cooking. Remove them from the boiling water and put them in a mixing bowl. Let them cool down a little bit. Add 2 tablespoons of finely chopped green onion, half tablespoon of minced garlic, quarter generous teaspoon of salt, half tablespoon of sesame oil, and 1 teaspoon of sesame seed to the bowl. Mix everything together. One side dish is done. Today, I will make white rice with some frozen peas in it. I explained how to make rice using a pressure cooker in my three-side meal video, so please check it out. Put one cup of washed rice and three tablespoons of peas in a pressure cooker and pour about one and a half generous cups of water in it. Since the peas have some liquid in them, I will pour a little less water than I would normally add for just plain white rice. So, back to the soup. After 5 minutes of boiling, take out the kelp and let it cook for 5 more minutes with the dried anchovies. Now my rice is almost done, I will turn off the heat and let it finish cooking. Meanwhile, season the onion pieces with some salt. I will only sprinkle one side with the salt. Set them aside for a while. After 5 minutes, remove the dried anchovies. Add the chopped potatoes and the onion. Bring it back to a boil and then add half tablespoon of hot pepper powder, half tablespoon of soup soy sauce, half teaspoon of salt, half tablespoon of minced garlic, and one teaspoon of sesame oil. Cook for another 10 minutes on medium high. Now I will start to cook the bulgogi stew. I already marinated some bulgogi and kept it in the refrigerator for overnight. So simply take it out from the fridge and cook it. Put 2 cups of marinated bulgogi and 1 cup of water in a clay pot. Once the bulgogi starts to boil, add the cooked cellophane noodles and cook it for about 10 minutes on medium high. My rice is done cooking, so I will stir it gently and cover it again. It is ready to serve for later. The soup and bulgogi stew are still cooking, so it is good time to fry the onion john. I make it almost at the end because it tastes best when it is warm. Prepare 2 tablespoons of flour on a plate. 
break one egg and mix it with one pinch of salt. Cover the seasoned onion with some flour and dip the flour covered onion into an egg mixture. Evenly coat the onion with egg. Put one generous tablespoon of cooking oil in a heated nonstick pan. Put the onion into the pan and fry for about 5 minutes on medium. When one side of the onions get nicely golden brown in about 5 minutes, flip them and fry the other sides for about 5 minutes. When the soup is almost done, add a green onion and red hot pepper and cook for one more minute before turning off the heat. The bulgogi stew is almost done cooking too. Add the mushrooms and a handful of crown daisy or spinach. Cook for two more minutes before turning off the heat. By now, the onion zone will be done too. So everything is done cooking. Now, let's assemble the meal. I will put some of the three side dishes that I made previously in serving bowls or plates. This is a stir-fried seasoned cuttlefish side dish. This is a quail egg side dish. And this is seasoned and roasted dried laver. Put the two side dishes that we made today on serving plate. This is soybean sprout side dish. And this is onion john. So that makes five side dishes for this meal. In addition to the five side dishes, this meal serves two different kinds of kimchi. I picked radish kimchi and napa cabbage kimchi this time. To show you the traditional way to prepare this meal, I will add two sauces. One is normal soy sauce, which is used for seasoning the soup or stew if needed. Korean people used it as salt is used for western meals. But nowadays, we normally don't serve this, so you can skip it. However, you need this second sauce. It is soy sauce with vinegar for dipping your chon. Simply mix 1.5 tablespoon of soy sauce and half teaspoon of vinegar. The bulgogi stew is ready to be served in the same clay pot that it was cooked in. Put some cooked rice in a bowl. And finally, put some soup in a bowl. Put everything in the table. And this is how we do it. If you liked my 5 side dish Korean meal video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.